Thank you, Dan. And now to the latest this afternoon on the war between Israel and Hamas. With an internationally supported ceasefire deal on the table, the U.S. is calling out Hamas. And as c teens Caroline Shively shows us, the U.S. says a ceasefire deal is the best way to end the fighting and save Palestinian lives. Families of the remaining Israeli hostages demanding action on Tuesday after four of those kidnapped were freed in this daring rescue in Gaza Saturday. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is now in the Middle East, pressuring Hamas leaders in hiding to accept a ceasefire deal that would release the last of the hostages. Today, as we gather, one and only one thing stands in the way of this deal happening. And that's Hamas. On Monday, the United Nations Security Council approved a resolution endorsing the ceasefire plan. A senior Hamas leader released a statement saying, the resolution contains points we do not accept, but its main aspects are positive. There are also reports that the U.S. is considering bypassing Israel and negotiating directly with Hamas for the release of American hostages. We have to be very concerned, though, that if the United States is going to negotiate separately with Hamas, whether it's going to increase the price uh, of the release of the rest of the hostages, it's creating a different category of hostages, those who have American passports, those who don't have American passports. U.S. officials would not comment on whether there are separate negotiations, but parents of those Americans say they welcome any talks that bring their loved ones home. In Washington, Caroline Shively, News 15.